All right, what is going on with the Astra themed full width contained? Um, to demonstrate that, I have my uh, blog post up here and it's set to uh, content boxed. And the first thing you notice is that there's a gap between the content and the header. And then there's also a gray background and a gray sidebar. So let's change this to full width contained and see what happens. Edit post. I'm going to change it at the post level, not the global level. So this post has the setting customizer. So it's going to go to the cut. It's going to go to the global level. If I just set it here, full width contained, you'll see it looks much better now. It's no longer doing a gray buffer between the header and the post. And the featured photo is going right up to the edge of the content. And so whatever value I set this with that is what the photo goes to. And I'll show you where to set that in the customizer. So now we no longer have a gray background and the content goes right to the width of the, um, of the setting that we choose. And so let's go to the customizer and look at how to get the width that you want. So if you go to your dashboard or just however you get to the customizer, appearance, customize, go to global container right here, content width. This is the setting that you choose to uh, designate how wide you want your content to be. And then right here is the default layout for all your pages. It's currently set to content boxed. And then at my blog post, I had it to default, meaning it's just going to refer to this layout here. So personally, I would either set the blog post layout to full width contained, and then you can set your default to full width contained. That makes it consistent and it also um, you could just do this one and set them all to that uh, to default and just have it just call the, the default layout. The reason you want it contained is because if you don't contain it, it's going to stretch your content as wide as the person's screen is. So if the person has a high resolution screen, you're going to end up stretching that content extremely wide and you end up losing the design. So you designate a width for the content and you put it in that container a thousand wide. If you don't, if you go full width stretched, you're going to end up with content that goes out of control if the person has a high res it might look fine on your computer it might look fine on this video but the problem is is when you start getting wide windows you're going to end up losing the design because you're constantly looking at, at it at a certain width so that's one thing to realize why you would use contained over full width stretched this is not an Elementor tutorial. Uh, a lot of people design with full width stretched on Elementor and then they set the content width within Elementor. So they're even containing it once they get into Elementor. So that's why a lot of people choose this for Elementor because they're setting the width instead of setting it here, they're setting it in Elementor basically. So that's sort of the gist of full width contained. Uh, like usual, thanks for watching and check out the, uh, the video description for more content. I'm going to be making a lot of these uh, Astra type videos and um, understanding sort of the basics of Astra and uh, getting ready for launching websites. All right.